Okay, I'm having a really slow day on the river today, not finding much. So I thought we'd do something different, and I'm going to show you how to catch Helgramites. Now, if you're in an area that has Helgramites, consider yourself very, very lucky if you're a fisherman. Because Helgramites are by far the best bait you will ever use on a river like this. Now, Helgramite is actually the larval form of a Dobson fly. When I say Dobson fly, I'm not talking about a little fly. These things are huge. They're like this big. They're as big as your hand. And they only fly at night, and they're extremely scary looking, but they're perfectly harmless as a fly or a giant flying bug. But on the other hand, the larval form, the Helgramites, I'm going to show you how to catch right now, have very strong pinchers on their front, and they will grab your fingers or your hand and pinch so hard the blood will flow. And their little feet also are very sticky, so they can grab you and kind of twist around, so you got to be really careful when you're handling them. I'm going to show you how to find them in the water and how to pick them up and put them in your little box. Let's go out there and do it. The Helgramites really like swift current. Well, what they'll do is they'll hide up underneath the bottom of these rocks. So what you need to do is pick a rock up, nothing too big, but not too small, and flip it over slowly, maybe set it on your knee, and you can just pick the Helgramites off the bottom of the rock, like you're picking grapes or fat ticks off your hound dog. All right, so let's try this little section of rocks right here. Here's a little one. He's almost too small, but I'm not finding too many. So what you do is just grab him behind the head like that. See how I have his pinchers like that? And he's trying to get me. And you can catch a lot of sunfish. You can usually use them like five or six times for a fish. Uh, but he's kind of small. If I was fishing today, I'd probably just let him go. And I'm gonna let him go anyway. See, see him right there, he'll swim away. All right, let's try this bigger rock. Oh, he's creepy looking, huh? I usually like really swift current. I didn't have very much luck where it was calmer, and I was trying to do it there so I could make a better video, but we're gonna have to get over here with a little swifter. This looks like a good spot right here. Wow, yes, now we're talking. That's a beautiful one right there. Good size, it's perfect for fishing. Absolutely perfect. I think he's playing dead. Look at the little ones. These are the little ones that get under your swim trunks. I don't know if that's a Helgramite or not, but man, they really pinched. Or they won't draw blood, but they hurt. There's thousands of them in a the river like this. Come here, guy. I know you're just faking. Beautiful guy, look at that thing. Oh yeah. I see how his uh, little legs right there, they're, they're kind of sticky. They can grab a hold. I see how he's curling around my finger? They can get around and pinch you pretty easy by doing that. And they're very, very tough. The skin is very, very tough on those guys. So like I said, you could use this for probably five or six fish. Easy. Easy. And he's beautiful, huh? Ooh, pinching, look. Pinch, pinch. All right, what I'm going to do is let him go underwater and you can see how he swims. Hopefully he won't swim right down into a bass's mouth. Well, I don't know. Ah, see, he's got me. Look, he's trying to get me right now. Come here, little guy. Away you go. Woo! He's all balled up. Yeah, see, he's in the car and he's... Ah, there he goes. He'll be lucky if he doesn't get eaten. 